severe axle hop is the only thing that stands between me and doing burnouts in this Vega. This episode we fix it. Welcome to the Burnouts and Rotor Blades YouTube channel. Let's go do something awesome. Well, hello. You're thinking a little car like this with a V8 in it, why wouldn't it do a burnout, right? This Vega has the same problem that a lot of other Vegas have, and the problem is axle hop. It's all to do with this four-link suspension geometry. So if you were to measure the distance between the upper and lower mounting points of the aft end and the upper and lower mounting points of the forward end, and you were to take those two measurements and use them to continue the lines out until they were to meet, you would find that they touch somewhere about a hundred inches in front of the car. That's what causes our axle hop. That and, you know, these ancient rubber bushings. Now ideally you want to have those two lines converge one third of the wheelbase. In order to do that, we could do a bunch of math and figure out where that point is. But we don't have to. Because in July of 1984, Carcraft Magazine, which doesn't even exist anymore, did a full three page article on this common problem with Vegas. So we're going to take what they did and we're going to do it to this Vega. We're going to add about two inches to that upper mount so that this bolt point is two inches higher so that our axle will not grip so hard and uh, then it'll do a burnout. If you look down in the uh, description below, I'll put a link to the exact thread that has those pages on hbody.net. So let's get to it. I spent a lot of time making up these templates. This one simulates the the outboard part and this is the anti-hop uh, bracket that's going to go on top of it. And then this one simulates the inboard one and this anti-hop bracket goes on top of it. And each one of these dots here, one and a half and two and a half inches up, the, uh, the Carcraft magazine recommends two and a half inches but I've heard people using as low as one and a half inches, so I put it on there as, a, uh, as an option. And I'll do one of each of these for each side. So there'll be four total brackets, two of these and two of these. So I'm gonna whip out the, uh, the, the trusty uh, plasma torch here and see if I can't make a huge mess. God, the brackets for the back of the Vega suspension into shape and they need to have some bends and this material is just way too thick for me to bend so we're gonna make uh, some relief cuts and then use some gentle persuasion to bend them into shape
We'll give her a test in the garage real quick because my wife loves garage burnouts. That's a win, let's go do some real ones. Don't forget to subscribe if you like the content and want to see more like it. And as always, thanks for watching.